Okay, today we'll take a look at um, drapes. Uh, if you like changing your wallpaper and uh, you get bored from your wallpapers and uh, you like to change them often, um, the drapes is a program that will help you do that uh, automatically. Um, to get drapes, uh, just go to your Synaptic Package Manager and uh, just search for drapes and uh, install it. After you install it, uh, you can just go to your system, uh, preferences, and desktop uh, drapes. So um, when you click that, um, an icon will show up on your panel up here. And uh, to go to uh, the preferences of this program, uh, you just right click it and you go to preferences. Okay, and um, the first window you'll get uh, with the display tab, it'll automatically uh, detect uh, the wallpapers that you have in your home directory. If it doesn't, just go to add here and uh, select the folder uh, where the wallpapers are. And it will add them here. And uh, notice here, it even tells you uh, if it finds uh, wallpapers that are a perfect fit for your screen resolution. And uh, if there are any uh, other wallpapers that are not exactly, uh, that are not uh, gonna fit your, wall, uh, your uh, screen exactly, it'll uh, say either widescreen or regular uh, uh, four uh, by three. Anyways, uh, the other thing you have here is style. You can have your wallpaper centered, centered or uh, tile, scaled. Same if you are just uh, changing your wallpaper from the uh, GNOME desktop uh, wallpaper. Uh, the next thing you have here is uh, a general tab. And uh, if you want this to start uh, every time you start your computer, which I'm assuming you do if you want this program. You have to check this, uh, start desktop drapes on startup. And uh, if you want it to switch your wallpaper as soon as it starts, uh, you can uh, check this too, and uh, it will switch it uh, as soon as it, the program starts. Uh, the timing selection is uh, uh, how often you want your wallpaper to change, like every hour, every 30 minutes, you know. You just select it from here. Uh, the next thing is uh, if you want this program to monitor one of your folders, uh, maybe you have a wallpaper folder where you keep adding uh, new wallpapers uh, to. And, um, if you select it from here, you have to check this and select it. I do have one uh, in my in pictures. And what this will do is it will keep checking that folder for any new wallpapers and it will update them. So it will add them to the queue automatically. You don't have to uh, uh, go browse again for new wallpapers. Uh, the other thing here uh, in that icon, if you right click it, if you right click that icon, you have a uh, shuffle periodically. If you want your wallpapers to be shuffled, uh, you just check this and uh, they won't be in the same order. You also have uh, a switch button here. If you click it, it just switches to your next uh, uh, wallpaper. Okay, so that's it for, for this. Uh, I do have another tip for you. And uh, it's about uh, when you go to your system here, preferences or uh, administration uh, all these settings are in this menu if you um, prefer a panel instead like a uh, like a control panel you can uh, right click your menu uh, go to edit menus Okay, and uh, you go to your system, 
you just click system and uh, where it says control center just check that and close now when you go to your system uh, from your from your panel you notice you have a new entry here it says control center and uh, if you click it you should get the control center so this is the control center all of your settings are in here now the nice thing about uh, using this instead of the menus is that you can uh, search for um, the setting you're looking for so you don't have to keep going through the menus and try to find whatever you're looking for so if I'm uh, if I'm looking for the keyboard preferences I can just type keyboard and you notice the keyboard is right there all these settings are for the keyboard so it's easy to find it and uh, if you click it you just get all your preferences other thing about it is um, all these settings are grouped so you have these uh, these groups right here you have personal look and feel look and feel uh, internet and network hardware and whenever you click one of these groups it highlights them for you and you can even set uh, preferred applications uh, you can have uh, preferred applications here too so uh, that's it for today and uh, thanks for watching.